this video, I'm going to be showing you all the materials that you need to actually start sewing. Just imagine you've developed interest in trying to sew and you have absolutely no idea which materials you'll be needing. At the end of this video, you definitely know everything you need to invest your money in starting from right now. Right here, I've got this fabric. Definitely, you need a fabric to start to sew because, you know, sewing is something that you do on fabric. You don't do it on wood. You don't do it on metal. When you're talking about sewing, you're talking about working on fabric and definitely you need a fabric. It could be anything. It could be linen. It could be cotton. It could be polyester. But at the end of the day, you definitely need a fabric to start with. The mistake I made many years ago when I started sewing was that I was actually investing a lot of money buying all sorts of fabric. This is not necessary because while learning how to sew, you really do not need to invest a lot of money buying the most expensive fabric that you can. Any leftover fabric will definitely just be enough for you to get yourself started. Do not make the same mistake I made, which is trying to spend a lot of money buying the most expensive fabric or the most premium quality fabric. It doesn't matter what sewing project you are trying to do. The main thing is that you are trying to learn and just keep it simple. Go for the cheapest fabric that you can possibly lay your hands on. Next thing that you'll be needing is a scissors. Unfortunately, I've got my scissors here as my microphone stand, but I'm still going to demonstrate to you why you need a scissors because when you have your fabric, you definitely need to cut it up and there is no other thing that you can use to cut your fabric aside having a scissors. And the problem is there are so many kinds of scissors out there in the market, but one very good place you can actually lay your hands on a good scissors will be on Amazon or eBay. I also advise that you spend wisely while going for your scissors. Just try to get a very good stainless steel scissors. At the end of this video, I'm going to be leaving a link in the description where you can actually see a few recommendations for scissors that I've got. So like I was saying, do not cut clothes with a spoon. You do not cut clothes with anything else other than the scissors. Also, when I was starting out, I made a lot of mistakes trying to buy a lot of scissors. I bought this one, I bought another one, I bought another one, and I just kept buying because I felt like the more scissors you have, the more you become good at sewing. At the end of the day, I just stuck to one, which is this one I have right here, and I've been using it for a very, very long time. It's a 12 inches stainless steel scissors. It's able to cut through jeans, able to cut through cotton, able to cut through all manner of fabrics. But when you get better at sewing, when you develop a lot of experience, later on, definitely there might be need for you to get two or three more scissors because certain fabrics require a certain kind of scissors to be able to cut through them and make a good job. The next tool that you'll be needing if you're learning to sew is that you need a weaving machine. Some people call it an overlocker. Some call it a weaving machine, you know, but this is just the simplest form of weaving machine that you can think of. I've got here a Toyota overlocker and this you definitely need because sometimes they just need for you to make the edges of your fabric a little bit smooth because it's all about you doing a decent job. It's not just enough for you to set out to sew and at the end of the day, everything looks so unpleasant. You need a machine to actually make the edges not only smooth, also prevent the fabric from loosening up while you sew. This is a simple overlocker. The overlockers could be as expensive as 3,000 euros, even more. But this, if I remember correctly, I think I bought for about 250 euros. You also do not have to spend so much money on an overlocker. Any basic overlocker, some have three threads. This actually has four, but doesn't matter if it's two or three. The main thing is that the overlocker is able to do the work that's supposed to do, which is to weave the edge of your fabric and give your sewing project a decent finish. If you are not not so sure how to use the overlocker or how to even thread your overlocker there's going to be a video here that will show you step by step first how you can thread your overlocker also how you can actually use your overlocker to overlock your fabric and at the end of the day you also learn how you can give a decent clean to your overlocking machine because the cleaner you leave your machine the longer it's going to last for you the next item you'll be needing as zippers. You need zippers. Not all projects actually do need zippers, but this particular project I'm working on, I need zippers. And right here, I've got continuous zippers, but it doesn't matter what project you are working on. Just have it at the back of your mind that you might at some point in your sewing career need zippers. And the earlier you begin to think about buying them, the better. Sometimes you can actually buy them in yards, just like you have here, or in meters, depending on where you live. And sometimes you can actually buy them as single zippers. There are also different types of zippers. There are the plastic zippers, there are the metal zippers. But I can imagine that if you are just starting out to sew, you really do not need anything super powerful. You just need some basic kind of plastic zippers because this should normally be enough for the kind of sewing projects that you'll be handling at this stage of your sewing career. The next items I've got here are trade. See, you need threads to actually sew your clothes together. If you've cut your fabric with a scissors, you've woven the edges with an overlocker, the next thing you need is that you need a thread to actually join this fabric together. Just like you have different type of scissors, you also have different type of threads. You have cutting threads, you have polyester threads. Yes, these are 
pretty much the two kind of trades that you'll be seeing in the market. Once again, if you are starting out your sewing project, you do not necessarily have to match your threads to your fabric. It's okay when you use a yellow thread to just sew your fabric together because you are starting to sew. The, the essence is not for you to begin to be very, very petty in trying to match every thread with the fabric. You can actually make do with what you have at home. Also, just as a side tip, do not invest in buying so much thread. In this way, you can actually help yourself, save yourself just from spending a lot of money while learning to sew. Truth be said, learning to sew could be a little bit expensive and if you are not careful, the more materials you buy, especially the materials you buy that you really do not need, the more you make it more expensive for yourself. So now that you've gotten everything together, the next thing you need, in fact, is one of the most important aspects of sewing, which is the sewing machine. You need a sewing machine to actually sew this whole thing together. There are different types of machines that are out there in the market. There are tabletop machines, there are standalone machines, there are industrial sewing machines. I've got here a UK industrial sewing machine. Once again, if you are just starting out to sew, you necessarily don't have to go this far. There are so many beautiful decent tabletop machines that you can actually use not so expensive a very good place you can actually look and see and compare prices for sewing machine will be on amazon or ebay just make sure you look through what the, the sellers are offering get a decent basic machine because right now you are just starting out there's gonna be plenty of room for you to upgrade much later but right now if you just want to get things up and running get a simple machine that can actually enable you sew the basic kind of materials you'll be working on in which case i imagine that you'll be sewing cutting fabrics and you'll be sewing a bit of polyester fabric in extreme cases so once again just make sure you get a decent machine a machine that can do decent stitches can sew straight stitches it can sew zigzag stitches and even now there are some machines that can actually do even more they can make buttonholes it's kind of an all-in-one arrangement make sure you take a look at what's available in the market and hopefully you'll be able to find yourself something decent another thing you need to get started sewing is a tailoring tape you see this can come in different kind of length but the only thing i can advise is get a minimum of one meter long tape because in this way it's not too short for you and it's also not too long for you to handle this is a three meter long tape and sometimes should be said it's just so long for me and i end up folding it over and over and again so get a tape basic length and this should actually be enough for you to get started sewing Every other thing that you pretty much need, you're just going to get it as you go along. Just like there are different types of scissors, there are different types of fabrics, there are different types of zippers, there are different types of threads, there are also different types of tapes. So another item that you really need to get started sewing is a tailoring chalk. This is a very important item that you, you need to have because in the course of your sewing project, you're going to be taking measurements and this is the only thing that you can actually use to mark off the measurements that you have taken. There are so many different types of this and the beautiful thing that you can actually get the tailoring chalk in different colors they are blue they are red they are green they are white just as you find necessary so you, you have a white fabric try to make sure you have a white chalk just like you have different type of tailoring tapes you also have different type of tailoring uh, chalk some come like this just like a chalk why others could actually be in the form of a pen. So depending on what website you are using, if you're using Amazon, you will pretty much see a tailoring chalks or tailoring pen. They pretty much do the same thing. Just get one for a decent price that is good enough for your sewing project. Just like every other item you need for sewing, always make sure you do not buy these things more than you actually need. You can try to get like two or three colors because this should normally be enough for all your sewing projects. And before we wrap this video up, there are still some smaller items that you need that we've not covered in this video. For example, if you are sewing on your machine, you actually need a small cutter like this. It's a small scissors just to enable you cut the thread as soon as you finish sewing. This is actually not a necessity because if you already have a big scissors like this one here, you can actually use it also. But if you have some few cash to spend around, then think of getting something like this. It's very practical. It's very handy. If you are sewing and you've brought your clothing or your fabric off the machine, you really do not have to always pick a big scissors to cut off the thread. With this little thing, it's just so handy. You can just take it and cut off your thread. Like I said, the purpose of this video is just to tell you or to show you the main items you need to just get started out. If the headache you have right now is, I really do not know where to start. I don't know where to, what to buy. This is the exact video that's just going to put you on the right way. Every other little thing that you'll be needing, definitely you'll be able to figure out later and you'll be able to actually get them. If this video has helped you, do me a favor, go on to the comment section and tell me exactly at what point you found value in the video. Also, don't forget to like the video and if you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do until I see you again. Peace.